keeps us warm We can spend the night Underneath the mistletoe And I've gotten you a present that I put on Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Natalie and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you my Christmas home decor tour of 2020. But if you enjoy cleaning motivation, organizational videos with occasional cooking and hauls to make your home a more inviting environment for you and your loved ones, I really hope you can consider hitting that red subscribe button and the notification bell so that you never miss any of my upcoming videos. Today's video is in collaboration with my friend Michelle. Michelle is a wife and a mother to two little girls, Sailor who's three and Savannah who's one, and she posts very similar content to mine. She does tons of cleaning motivation, organizational projects, and recently she's been posting the most beautiful Christmas decor videos that I've been enjoying so, so much. Her style of decor is a little bit more glam. She sticks more to the whites, the silver, and the golds, but I think she has amazing taste. And also what I like the most about her videos is her personality. She's very kind and down to earth, and she likes to keep it very real, which to me is very relatable and I also enjoy a lot. She's also going to be posting a Christmas home decor tour of her home today, so I'll make sure I'll link her video down below in my description box so that you can go check hers out afterwards. And make sure you leave in her comment section that I sent you. And if you come from Michelle's video, welcome. I am so, so happy Happy to have you here and I really hope you can enjoy this video as well. So without any further ado, let's just jump right in. Welcome to my home during Christmas 2020. So if you access the door in front, this is the first thing you'll see, my living room. You can see my Christmas tree, my mantle, and my coffee table. And then if you stand on the side of the TV, then you'll see the kitchen on that angle. So why don't we start by the Christmas tree? My Christmas tree is basically decorated with a lot of old ornaments that my mother-in-law passed to me. And I like to use a lot of ribbon and other elements that can make the look more elaborated. If you wish to see a more detailed tutorial on how I decorated my Christmas tree, I'm going to leave part one of my Christmas clean and decorate with me video in my description box so that you can go check it out. I've noticed this year a huge trend with ice skates as ornaments for Christmas trees and since I love figure skating, even though I don't know how to do it, I love to watch it. I got myself one ornament and then this is my oldest ornament that my mother-in-law passed to me. It's from Christmas 1982 and I cherish it with all my heart. Then this other one from 1987, it's a belt, it's beautiful, and I have it on top of the tree so that everybody can see it. Then I also have this welcome lettering that I got from the dollar store from the fall section a couple years back, and now I use it on my tree. I love it so much. And then this other ornament was created by a very special friend of mine. She created my wedding bouquet and she gifted these to me last year and I love them so so much as well. And here is a more complete view of my Christmas tree. My Christmas tree skirt is one that I made myself a couple years back because I did not want to spend that much money for one at Michael's and I made this one from fleece and ribbon that I hot glued together and then I have that comfort and joy sign that I always pair together at the foot of my tree and then here is my mantle which got me super excited to decorate this year because I've never had a mantle before. This decoration, which is the statement piece on my mantle, I actually created myself. If you want to check how I did that, I'm going to link my part one of my Christmas clean and decorate with me this year so that you can check how I did it. But overall, I loved how it turned out. And then I pair that with Target dollar spot Christmas trees. They were like $3 each. 
And then those candle holders I've had since forever and I use them for all times of the year. Around my mantle I placed some little white houses that I also got from the Target dollar spot section, a beaded garland, pine cones, and some more greenery, and of course I needed to place my stocking holders in my mantle for the first year and for that I got these stocking holders from Hobby Lobby. The stockings are also from Hobby Lobby this year. If you want to check my Christmas haul, I'm going to also link that one down below for you. I love to pair some good festive pillows on top of my basket and the blanket. The pillow I got from Hobby Lobby this year and the blanket and the basket are from Marshalls and I got them around the fall and I actually did this for my fall decor and I love it so much that I repeated the entire thing for Christmas. Then for my lanterns on the other side of my fireplace, I decided to just decorate them myself instead of getting Christmas lanterns which are so expensive. So these are the lanterns that I've had from forever and I just placed some greenery, cranberries and just a regular bow that I made with ribbon. And I just loved how all the details came out. I love the color combination, especially because I cannot leave the red behind in my Christmas. And then here is my coffee table, which was completely improvised. I just combined a bunch of different elements in a symmetrical way. And actually those are lights inside that glass vase, but they were not working for the video. They start working later, but then not for the video. It's just real life. And if you take a look on the upper right corner, you'll see a wreath. That's actually the door for my linen closet. And this wreath I created a year ago. I got that wooden wreath from Walmart. It was really affordable. And then I got a couple of flowers and greenery arrangements from Michaels that I also pay on a discount. And I basically hot glued together in a symmetrical way, just leaving the wood off the wreath to just shine by itself, if that makes sense. And I truly loved how this wreath came out so much that this year I reused it and did not change anything except for hot gluing the pieces that fell off especially after our out-of-state moving but overall I still love it and I think it looks beautiful in the spot that I placed it so if you face that wreath and turn to your left there's going to be my living room, the mantle, the Christmas tree, and all the area that I have already show you. But if you face towards the right side, then you'll see the area where I have a ladder shelf placed that I have decorated with this blanket and all of the nutcrackers and stuffed animals that my mom has passed to me from Christmas. I really cherish this spot in my house a lot. It reminds me to my mom. I miss her so much. In the first year that I married my husband, she came visit and she brought me all of these. It was a surprise, but she did it because she knows how much I used to love them back when I was growing up and I still do and I'm still going to put them out every single year. Forget about everyone else. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. If you turn around from that ladder shelf, you're going to be able to see the rest of the common areas of my house. And I still have those Christmas bins in there because I have not yet finished to decorate for Christmas. I still have to do my nativity scene, but I wanted to show you my Christmas tablescape and don't mind the cracks of my table. They're full of glitter and things that I can't get out and they're driving me a little bit crazy. 
This garland I created myself as a centerpiece decoration for my Christmas table and I just used a lot of things that I already had in hand. It was super affordable to do and I really loved how it turned out. I also created these fabric napkins off of a burlap and if you want to check how I did all of this I'm going to link part two of my clean and decorate a video for Christmas and you'll see how I did all of this now on to my kitchen the first thing you see is this little corner right here where I have this squirrel I got from Michaels a couple years back and I love her I think she's super cute I put her on top of this cake stand that I made for my wedding a long time ago surrounded by another beaded garland and then I put some greenery in that farmhouse a vase and just to give it a little bit more of a Christmas touch I tied up a bow off of Christmas ribbon and I really liked how it turned out. I pair it with a candle and what I'm burning here is just a Bath and Body Works candle that it smells like pine and it's almost gone. I cl clearly have to go and restock. But this corner was completely improvised and I really liked how it turned out. On this corner of my kitchen, I have this sign that I created off of a piece of wood that I got from Walmart. I painted it and then I wrote on it with a special marker for wood. I do do lettering, but you don't need to know lettering to do something like this. I can show you how if you leave your request down in the comments below. And in here I have another cake stand with other things that come from my mother-in-law, the lamp, the kitchen towel, and those little apples. This was another thing that I completely improvised because I did not have a clear idea of what I wanted to do in that corner, but what I did know I wanted to do was to place these mini Christmas wreaths on the highest shelves or cabinets in my kitchen. And I got these from Hobby Lobby. They were super, super affordable as well. And I just simply put a bow on each one of them. I paired everything with this kitchen towel that is actually a set of two with another one but that other one is stained. I have to find another one that can match this one and then I have that little leaf blade that I use on the fall but that I usually reuse on Christmas and I put them on my cooktop and I cannot decide if I want a Christmas sign on top of my cooktop. Then I created this other wreath for my pantry door and I just put ribbon all around it because I was out of anything else that I could hot glue to it. I love this ribbon combination and these two ribbons come from Walmart. For my hot beverage station, I wanted to do something more special, but I don't have a clear idea in my mind of what I want to do. Maybe I'll switch it up, but the only thing I did was this other sign with Christmas colors, again using the same technique I used for my other sign. And I got this Santa mug from Target. I believe it was only $5 and I think it's super adorable. I know that the Dollar Tree and Walmart have their versions as well. Last thing in my kitchen is my baking station. I did that sign. It says, we whisk you a Merry Christmas, which I thought it was super adorable. I actually saw this at Hobby Lobby. I just didn't like the one from Hobby Lobby that much. I paired everything with dollar spot items like these spatulas I got from Target for $1. Then I have that cup that's holding the spatulas or that mug for also $1. And then the kitchen towel I got from Target and then the cocoa container. It probably should go where my hot beverage station is, but I really liked how it looks like in here. And before I finish this video, I wanted to give you a quick reminder to go check Michelle's 
Christmas home decor tour out as well, which I will link down in my description box for you. All right, you guys, that's going to be everything for today. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you enjoy this video, I really hope you can subscribe and leave me in the comment section down below what is your favorite area of your house to decorate. And I really hope I can see you in the next video. Bye.